Hey everybody, um, this is just a quick, uh, first of all, like a, a shout out to a channel that you guys ought to check out if you haven't seen it yet. Probably most people have. It's Pete's Model Car Customs, and he's guy's got a lot of fantastic detailing that he does, and I learned a lot from him. Uh, he's got a challenge on right now for opening up a grill. This is something I've done a few times many years ago haven't done it lately and the ones i did were easy ones like uh 55 chevy i think there was a 55 chevy truck and car those are pretty easy but he challenged me here and since i'm doing this 64 thunderbolt i decided to give it a try now unfortunately i didn't film anything while i was doing it but I can show you finished and kind of show you a little bit of how I did it. You know what some of the tools I used. But here's the here's the finished product. And if you look, see if it focuses on there. Yeah, you you can see through it. You can see my STS decals card back there, which is another company I'd like to recommend. They do great work. They're reasonably priced. But anyway, back to the grill. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think this turned out great and I was scared of this because it's so thin that you know the bars in the center are very very thin and this was a really thick grill on the back side um, here you can see the back side but what I did is I I think I started with this it's a nail file sanding stick and it's got it's a real rough on one side I think it's it's a hundred grit on one side 180 on the other side so I just, I started basically just holding it in my hand and just, you know, back and forth. And, and because it's a V shape, I had to stay, you know, stay angled like that. So I alternated between that and this file. And then once I got that to the point where it was thin, it was hard to get an X-Acto blade in there because it, because the, the grill bars are so thin. Uh, so I took... I took an old blade I had here and I ran it on the cutoff wheel on the Dremel to try to thin it out. It still didn't get real thin. So so what I was doing then, I was taking a, a straight pin here like that. And once I got it thin that I could kind of see the lines back here, I would push, go from the front here. Oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. Let me see if I can do this. And I would take and I would push the pin through it and just kind of work, you know, drag it along and keep pushing it in. And then what I'd do is I'd take a better X-Acto knife blade and where it had the, you know, the raised areas that were pushed through, then I would trim it off kind of like that. And it, it took a lot of trial and error. I mean, a, a lot of pushing through with the pin and a lot of scraping and a lot more filing. This, this whole job probably took me, I mean, I didn't time it because I started and stopped, but I think altogether I got like an hour and a half in this, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to look good when it's done. And I wasn't sure that I'd be able to get in this, uh, get a pointer, in, in between the headlights here. I didn't know if I'd be able to get that open and this part here because it's, you know, it's on a kind of a, a different angle and it's there's not a lot really to come out there and I ended up having to sand into the headlight bucket but it didn't go through on the back side so it doesn't matter and these are open because they had screens in them but hopefully somebody can use this idea and you know on these real thin ones it's kind of hard to get a blade through there so like I said I was using a straight pin and it, it worked good it just took some time and I even ended up getting if you, you know, if you can see the, the bottom, which would be like, you know, between the grill and the filler panel, that's even open. You can see, there's probably a little bit more cleanup I need to do here, but for the most part it's finished. You can see there's just a little bit of flashing on it. Not sure you'll see any of that when it's finished. But anyway, that's that's the way I did it. Kind of followed along with what Pete said. So if you haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out. He's got a good channel, um, a lot of good tips. So Pete, did I pass your inspection? All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.